Statistics with Python Specialization on Coursera. This is an interesting learning program from the University of Michigan and also is the most popular specialization on statistics on the platform. This specialization already has over 80,000 students and a general rating of 4.6 out of 5. But is it really worth taking? My name is Daniel and today I will review statistics with Python specialization on Coursera. And things I am going to talk about today are specialization overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities. Traditionally, I will go over some student reviews and let you know if this course series is worth taking today. Also, guys, check out the links in the description down below after watching this video. You might find some discounts there. Ok, and now let's start. Overview Well, as the name suggests, it's all about statistical analysis using Python. In this course, you will start from the basics and move into more intermediate concepts. Here you will cover everything from where data comes from to the different types of data you can collect. You will learn about data design, how to manage data effectively and dive into data exploration and visualization. But it doesn't stop there. You will also get his own with using data for estimation, assessing theories and building confidence intervals. The course instructors will walk you through interpreting inferential results and applying advanced statistical modeling procedures. And as they promised by the end of this specialization, you will be able to understand the ins and outs of statistical analysis in Python. And more than that, you will also learn how to connect research questions to the methods you learn. It's all about taking your data skills to the next level and being able to tackle real-world problems with confidence. Now, because this course series has quite a narrow focus, it's pretty small. There are just three courses here. You will likely be able to complete it in a month if you spend at least 10 hours a week learning. Folks, I personally wouldn't recommend rushing through it, because it might be small, but it teaches some serious skills here. You will want to make sure you understand everything completely. Another thing to note here is this specialization is beginner friendly. But if you have zero understanding of Python programming, it might be tough for you to get through. Apart from that, some high school level of linear algebra knowledge would be super helpful too. Instructors. So, like I said earlier, this specialization program was designed at the University of Michigan. There are three instructors here, all University of Michigan professors and experts in statistics. Brenda Gunderson is the lead instructor for the course series. She is an experienced educator and statistics expert who coordinates and teaches the largest undergraduate statistics course at the University of Michigan. Statistics and Data Analysis so, as you can see, my friends, you are going to be taught by real professionals. Structure and content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are three courses in this program. These courses take from 14 to 21 hours to complete. Each one is divided into four modules or weeks. Here they are. Understanding and visualizing data with Python, inferential statistical analysis with Python, fitting statistical models to data with Python. I have to say, this course series gets quite practical. And that's not surprising. Of course, you are not likely to learn statistical analysis in Python with theory only. That's why in every course you will find a range of assignments designed to check your understanding and apply what you have learned. These assignments come in different forms, for example, concept checks to make sure you are following along, written analysis to explore topics deeper, and finally Python programming assessments to put your coding skills into action. You will tackle these assignments through quizzes to test your knowledge you will submit written work to dive into analysis. And you will also work in the Jupyter Notebook environment for head-on Python programming tasks. So, as you can see, folks, it's all about getting that head-on experience and making sure you are really mastering the material. What I also like is that assignments here get more challenging as you progress through the course. And I want to especially note the discussion forums. As a student, you can ask any questions that bother you and get a quick answer. Sometimes that's very important. Pricing and certification 
Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback, I have seen some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now, let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews Ok, and now let's see what students think about this specialization program. Well, I want to say that 4.6 out of 5 stars rating is pretty high. And that means that the majority of students who took this course series were quite happy with it. Based on the feedback I have seen, many students are happy with how the program is structured. It also looks like they have enjoyed the challenging practical tasks. Well-structured and adeptly delivered course. A perfect introduction to regression analysis and more advanced statistical modeling procedures that are frequently used in practical scenarios to conduct in-depth data analysis and make accurate data-driven predictions. Students, independent learners and industry professionals who wish to understand the intricacies of assessing good predictive models can start off their analytical journey with this course. However, other students offer some criticism. They know that the last course gets unreasonably difficult and not very well explained. The final course was definitely a step up in terms of difficulty from the previous two courses. The assignments aren't that hard, but a lot of the material are discussed without getting into depth, which makes it difficult to really get a good idea about the inner workings of the statistics methods used. I wish the course developers planned this specialization to be a 5 or 6 course specialization, so that the materials covered will be well spread and learners will be eased into the new concepts. So, my friends, keep all that in mind. Is the statistics with Python specialization worth it? And now, guys, it's time for the final question. Is this course series worth your time and money? And I would say, if you have some understanding of how Python works and want to get into statistics, I think it's a great option. Here you will get accessible coverage of statistical concepts using Python. In addition to that, the instructors are very helpful and responsive on the discussion forums. Yes, the practical tasks might be challenging, but they really help you reinforce what you have learned. So, if you are ready to dive into the statistical analysis with Python, this is a good course series to take. Alright, my friends, and it's all about my review of the statistics with Python specialization on Coursera. Feel free to check out the useful links in the description below. You may find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.